I am not a particularly large fan of unboxing videos. I, uh, I just think it's weird to video ripping open a box and like, oh, here's how it was packaged. But in this case, this particular item is so unique. I've had so many people wanting information about my experience with it, if I should happen to pull the trigger on it. And I did. I finally did. Um, if you know what this is, then you know. If you don't, you're about to find out. Probably not a lot of people ever gave thought to this or know it exists, but it is a water block slash cryogenic cooler developed by Intel and EK for uh, the LGA-1200 sockets. And it functions like a normal water block, as you can see with uh, plugs and whatnot, but it also has a cooler. Uh, it goes by a lot of different names depending on who you talk to, but it it allows the cooling to go below ambient room temperature, which with the current state of water cooling, you will never get lower than, than room temperature unless you use a chiller. This does that without having uh, condensation, most importantly, because if you had a bunch of condensation on your, your cooler, you would get your chip wet, which isn't a good thing. So enough talking, let's open her up. I actually told the, the UPS man, thank you for bringing the biggest headache I will ever have to my front door. Have a nice weekend. Um, I mean, I think it is difficult to learn how to use because it is a very unique product with very little support existing. But that, oh, UK stress ball. Happy Valentine's Day. I need this. This is gonna be helpful for me. Uh, yeah, so here we are. This is super heavy. <laughs> it's a big heavy box for what it is. Kind of a flimsy box though too. Usually used to a little bit better strength of packaging. But yeah, you can tell it's old. It's been sitting around waiting to get sold for a while. I think this product is at least two, maybe three years old. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even say it's, it's compatible with what I'm using. So we're assuming it is. Uh, maximum power draw, 200 watts. It does need its own PCIe. You can't see any of this. This is just a very difficult product from my understanding. It is not the kind of thing you plug and play. So, get that open. This poor flimsy box. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this, as I understand, lines the back of the motherboard and prevents, um, prevents condensation from being an issue. Here. What's it say? Does it say anything? Do not forget other EK products for your liquid cooling system. Well, yeah. They kind of try to make it clear to you that you need like a, a loop to do this. You think, guys? You think? Uh, okay. Connectors. So this is the Intel Delta Tech, not the Delta Tech Evo. The Delta Tech Evo, uh, they realized they wanted to have the the block here attached ahead of time and um, I mean I understand this is a more difficult and less functional product but it was a good price <laughs> so uh, I know this needs to make a seal so that's what all this is about and there's the copper block uh, this obviously hasn't been used but it has you know the same two two plugs uh, they do not line up at all like like they would with the Oh my god, this is going to be so big in the case. Anyway, <laughs> so we'll pull this out. This is insane. This is quite a product. What have I done? Alright, obviously just your basic USB. Um, I heard this is annoying, so I'm going to probably end up using an angled one. I have several of those. Ah, there's the magical part. I know that it mounts on there, somewhat like that. This is gonna look so weird in here, which is fine. This is just weird. Just weird. I'm excited. Excited and scared. You know what there appears to not be in here? Instructions. I know they're online. Good stuff. Come on, guys, you could have, like, printed them out for me. So, 
Yeah. No instructions, just the box. There's the products. Uh, yeah. Don't know what else to say. This is exciting, but crazy. I feel like I need an adult in the room to help me supervise, like, doing this. I'll probably print out the directions.